It's week 14 and some of our curious chicks have come up by our pool. I've seen a lot of bugs around here recently, so hopefully they do too. And they're, here they're going back down. And now we've magically flown to the side of our house where our little chicks are. So, here they are chilling out under the tree trying to find some buggies. In the previous video, we did say it was week 14, and I guess we must have miscounted. Anyway, now there will be two weeks until we might find some eggs, and the ch chicks are over here eating some bugs, and then they're going to get some calcium for the eggs. Our family was... Our family was using the Purina chick feed starter grower, and we weren't sure if we should switch to Purina Lena. I think that's how it's pronounced, but apparently um, the starter grower has enough calcium already, so we only need to switch to to Purina Elena or get some oyster shells for calcium if we have soft-shelled eggs. So, here are our chicks grazing and some of them have little leg bands like this Buff Orpington. Some, most of them, however, don't. So, it's kind of like a mixed situation. I'm not sure how to get the, them on the rest of them since we haven't really spent a lot of time with them when they would let us pick them up so if we, so if we do get another flock to join this one we're probably going to need to touch them a lot more often so here are chicks digging up worms by where I would used to find them for them when they lived in the garage. And yeah. So first of all, we looked back at our records and now they're 14 weeks old. We may have claimed that they were 14 weeks old last week, but now they're actually 14 weeks old. The implication is that we still have two more weeks before we get some eggs, two to four more weeks. Um, but then hopefully it should start start just having lots and lots of eggs. But you know, really at this point, these chickens have started to infest our house. <laughs> you can see them here on the front porch. And you know, I really don't want her on top of that box there. I just scared four of them off of the box, but I don't also want to scare them or stress them too much because stress can lead to disease and things and, and not producing eggs and things like that. So, here they are, up close and personal. This, we haven't talked much about names. This, this uh, black Andalusian here is known as Moon. Um, probably the most famous or infamous of our chickens. Um, and we have lots of stories about her. The other, we have two other Andalusians that have survived, but they're both uh, grayish. This one here, um, and then the other one is under the tree next to Moon. We have four barred rocks, which are these black and white barred birds here. And then we have four buff Orpingtons, the yellow fluffy ones. All right, so now we've also discovered that sometimes our chickens will play fetch with us. Let's see how they do. Hey, chicky, fetch. And she's just being curious. <laughs> Close enough. Chicky, fetch. Trying to find the stick. <laughs> of course, they don't really like us very much, so they won't bring them back. 
But there you have it. Chickens will play fetch if you throw them sticks. <laughs>